Hello, and welcome to the video for setting up direct debit for estimate payments being electronically filed, in a 1040 return using interview forms. To begin, we're looking at a 1040 return that has a 1040 ES showing estimate payments starting with the second voucher. However, when looking at the direct deposit and direct debit report, only the main federal and state forms are set up to pay using direct debit. To enable direct debit of estimate payments, go to Interview Form BNK1. In Box 54, Estimated Tax Payment Option. Use the Lookup feature or double-click Box 54. Select Option 3, Both. This indicates that the bank information entered applies to the return as well as the estimate payments. And then click OK. Next, go to Interview Form EF1. In Box 36, File Estimated Tax Payments Electronically. Use the Lookup feature to select Yes. Note that, with the exception of a few states and cities, estimated tax payments can only be electronically filed with the return and not with the extension or separately filed. For more information on what states and cities, see this field's help by clicking the question mark on the icon bar. And then click OK. With this entry selected as Yes, calculate the return. Next, when I look at the diagnostics. The Diagnostic 36868 is issued listing the vouchers, amounts, and indicating that the estimate payments are selected for electronic withdrawal. Lastly, if I go to the Federal Government tab, open the miscellaneous worksheets and open the direct deposit report. We can see all the estimate payments are now showing as being debited and list the dates they will be taken out of the account. We can look at the electronic filing status report to see if the federal, state, and estimate payments are qualified for electronic file. This concludes the video for setting up direct debit for estimate payments being electronically filed in a 1040 return using interview forms.